It's a dreary day in downtown Bel Air, but it'll take a lot more than rain to stop Tim Brown from turning up the heat. That'll cook for about 11 hours and then hold for about five, six hours. Tim, along with childhood friend Christian Coach, are the proud owners of Bird's Nest Barbecue, a local restaurant that opened its doors in 2012. You know, it was like the perfect match, you know, with me knowing how to cook and uh, they handle more of the recipe side and he uh, generates the business. A lot of hard work and personal sacrifice went into making their new business venture a reality. You know, keeping my wife happy, keeping the family happy, uh, being home to watch my daughter grow, and uh, also uh, running a successful business is, uh, it's a lot on one plate. With food this good, it's hard to imagine the bird's nest having any sort of difficulty taking off here in Bel Air. Statistically though, 90% of all new restaurants fail within the first year. That said, Tim and Christian are confident that the quality of their barbecue will soar far above the competition. We wanted to uh, make everything fresh and we wanted to make everything from scratch. It's not like going to a chain restaurant where you know, you're seeing the same thing. They're, they're putting their love into it and their passion into it and really showing you that. And that's what we wanted to do. Owning a restaurant can be risky business, but there's no shortage of support from the residents of Bel Air. It's definitely tough. Definitely tough. So Noob, can you shake up those fries? You know, I think growing up around here has really helped us with uh, all of our friends and family and um, they really help support us and uh, you know, it's a new adventure every day. Big things often have small beginnings and if the steady stream of patrons is any indication of success it's clear that Tim and the crew of Bird's Nest Barbecue are ready to take flight. Food's really good, fresh, always hot, it's a good, good deal. Senior Airman Aaron Hauser, Bel Air, Maryland. Thank you.